Hello everyone, today's topic is interactions between organisms. There are three types of interactions between organisms. We have predation, competition, and symbiosis. Let's start with predation. Predation involves one organism eating another organism. Sometimes predation may be carnivorous, which means that it involves one animal eating another animal. Or it could be herbivorous, which means that it involves an animal eating autotrophs. Another type of interaction between organisms is competition. Competition involves organisms competing for the same resources, such as food, water, space, etc. Now, competition may be interspecies. That means it's between different species, such as chipmunks versus squirrels, and they're both fighting for acorns. Or it could be intraspecies. That means it's within the same species, such as squirrels fighting with other squirrels. The third type of interactions between organisms is symbiosis. There are three types of symbioses. We have mutualism, parasitism, and commensalism. Let's look at mutualism first. When a symbiosis is mutualism, both sides receive benefits. In this example here, we have a bird enjoying eating ticks off the rhino's back. And the rhino is also having a good time. It's enjoying having its ticks removed by the bird. Now in this case, both sides are having a good time. They're receiving benefits. And we call this mutualism. This is really the happiest type of symbiosis. Another type of symbiosis is parasitism. In parasitism, the story gets a little disturbing because while one side receives benefits, the other side is being harmed at the same time. In our example here, we see the tick enjoys drinking the monkey's blood, but the monkey is being harmed because the monkey is losing his blood. The last type of symbiosis we're going to cover is commensalism. Commensalism is a very special one because while one side receives benefits, the other side receives nothing. And by nothing, we mean nothing. Neither harm or benefit, it's just not affected at all. In our example here, we see a small fish attaching itself to a bigger fish. In this case, it's a type of small fish called red mora fish. It's not hurting the bigger fish, it's just hitching a free ride. And in this case, the big fish doesn't care. By the way, here's a fun fact. The word commensalism originated from Latin, and it means sharing a table. Table, in Latin, is called mensa, and it's called mesa in Spanish. And that's what commensalism is about. Commensalism is like you asking somebody, may I share a table with you? And the person is like, sure, whatever, doesn't affect me. Why not? Sit down. Before we end the video, let's summarize what we learned today. So we learned today that there are three interactions. They are predation, competition, and symbiosis.